we're still looking for hay feed all of it so i've still got people calling from all over the country to help me an outpouring of donated hay and feed from northeast Oklahoma is making a big difference in the lives of Texans impacted by these devastating wildfires. Fox 23's Amy Hybels joins us live from Coweta with more on the effort that kicked off last weekend and continues on Saturday. Amy? That's right. Last weekend, we found out a convoy of about two dozen trucks made its way from Main Street right here in Coweta to the Texas Panhandle. They were carrying much needed bags of feed, bales of hay for those ranchers devastated by those wildfires. Now they hope to double that effort this weekend. This was the scene around 4.30 Sunday morning on Main Street in Coweta. A panhandle fire relief convoy headed from Oklahoma to Texas, bringing much needed supplies for ranchers impacted by the largest wildfire in state history. This video shot by convoy organizer Casey Thomas on his phone shows the charred landscape in the Texas panhandle. It was nothing like I could ever imagined. Um, you know, around here we get grass fires and it's everything's charred and black. Up there, there's so much wind that all the ash and everything's gone. It's just straight sand blowing everywhere. Thomas says he saw dead cattle. Their group helped a woman who lost 130 head of cattle in her home. She and her husband living in their car. For the cattle who have survived, there's no grass to eat. Typically, you're going to feed these to cows. It's around a three-quarter inch, and that's what most farmers are going to feed cows or, or bigger heifers is these cubes, especially in the wintertime. John Harmon, who runs the farmer's co-op in Coweta, says the convoy trucked bags of feed like this and bales of hay from along I-40 into the Texas panhandle to the Fritch area and southeast of Canadian. Two trucks were also sent to Shuttuck, Oklahoma. John tells me last Saturday the phones here at the feed store were ringing off the hook. He says within four hours they had 15 tons of feed donated. That's in addition to the 400 round bales of hay donated from farmers in Oklahoma and Kansas. Everything was donated with calls coming in from Oklahoma and out of state including Arkansas, Missouri and Virginia. So I had a lady from Virginia call she saw it on YouTube and she said, hey, we got to help. So she called us up here Saturday and we sold her. She said, I want to spend $1,000. The next convoy will roll out at 5 a.m. on Saturday. Thomas hopes to double the donations. But everyone that's seen us run out to the road just waving and smiling as big as they could. I mean, it was, it was something to see. How does that make you feel? Man, I ain't going to lie. We all cried a little bit. We did. It was, it's rough out there. That's bad. Now, coming up tonight at 6, we'll tell you about their efforts to save the lives of those young calves who survived and what you can do to help. Reporting live in Coweta, covering news that matters, I'm Amy Hybels, Fox 23 News. If you'd like to get involved in the second convoy, you can call Farmers Co-op in Coweta. That number is 918. You see at the bottom of your screen, 486-5322. Or Morris Feed and Farm Supply. That's in Morris. That number is 918-733-2092.